Okay, here we are. Um, don't know how... I don't know when this video will actually go up on YouTube, but I will say that uh, whenever it does, this hopefully will be completed. If not, then well, just keep working. So, first off, I don't remember what I said in the last video, but I may have said that the seat in my El Camino was rotten and falling apart completely. And that's why. The bottom is so rusted out, it's not even worth keeping. That's the two backs to it. So, we got rid of it. Instead, we replaced those. So, we replaced that seat with a pair of these. These are S10 seats out of an 85 S10. And that's my point. Ignore that. 85 or 87, 86, 80 model S10, basically. Dirt on that one. The cool thing is, the old seat tracks, the ones that came with my El Camino, the bolt distance, the distance between this bolt here and that bolt that goes up there, which you can't see, but right there, is exactly the same as this, as this, as the seat. <clears throat> so, basically, you can put that seat track on this seat and put it in the car. Well, of course, you have to do what we did, and what we ended up doing. What's this? Whoops, there you go, there you go. This is not in there permanently, this is just in there so I can sit in it and test it, and it fits, and it feels great. That's the front one. Also, the uh, hand, the uh, lever for the moving the seat has to be... Uh, we're going to bend it out a little bit more and put the thing on it so it won't be running up, rubbing up against the seat. Also, the back one. If you can see it, we had a little spacer on it so it'll fit. Works great. Fits. Now, ignore this. This is the seat. I can fix that, actually. I'll fix it right now. Much better. Anyway. So that seat's in there. Don't worry about that. We we're going to get a seat cover for this to cover the whole thing, and we'll cover that. I'll fix that too, one way or another, and it'll look good. So all we have to do now is make another set of brackets for that side, like right there. See, there's the old ones. And the funny thing is, long story short, we ended up buying a second pair of these seat tracks. Now these are the ones that, are, that came with the old Queen right here, both the ones that are on here. They are the original bench seat tracks that came with the El Camino. Now we a little modification to them to make them fit for the, bu the bucket seat and it fits perfectly. So, what we're going to end up doing is buying another spare, spare set, whatever you want to call it, of these bench of these uh, bench seat buckets, seat bracket things. Forgive me, my mind's not working right now. Uh, seat tracks, sorry. The seat tracks, but they're for a driver's side bucket seat. So, the exact same as this, which is okay because the passenger side one, that one there, actually fits perfectly right there on the old bolt holes. So all we'll have to do is unbolt the seat from the car, pick it up, put it over there, bolt, put it in place, and then, well, find out how much of a spacer we're going to need for the uh, floorboard there, or floorboard, the floor there. And that'll be that. Well, as long as we get that one, those brackets put in, I can take this seat out, Vacuum everything out again. Put the carpet back in here. Make sure I put the carpet back in completely this time. Because it's right there right now. I can't see the camera. Well, it's right there. And, uh... Anyway, um... Sorry about that. Little interruption. All we have to do is make uh, a set of brackets for that side and bolt them to the floor. We didn't weld them because, A, we don't have a welder. B, we don't doesn't it just I don't want to say it's not necessary because I'm sure it was necessary but we've got some very strong bolts in there and to be honest when my dad had his accident all those years ago this bolt right here just sheared off so it wouldn't matter if it was bolted to the floor or not the bolt the seat still came off of the off of the track so it didn't matter Oops. anyway here's the passenger seat I just was talking about that there's the carpet it's all wadded up now since we had to yank it out of there to get the seats in. Anyway, um, we put the air cleaner back on it, so now it actually runs better. 
So I'm hoping that's all that was wrong with it. But uh, we're also hoping that the choke, ouch, the choke is what reason why it wasn't running right. Uh, running smoothly. It's running smoother now than it was before, but that's only because we put the air cleaner back on it. Anyway, 